The text reveal effect is one of the most popular text effects that you can do, and it's super easy to accomplish in DaVinci Resolve, so it's kind of weird that I've never done a video on this before. Either way, that's what we're covering today, so let's just jump into DaVinci Resolve and get started. All right, we are here in DaVinci Resolve. We're in the edit page. We'll be moving over to the fusion page in just a second, but first let's go ahead and play this clip of a little girl and a little boy running through the woods. And what we're gonna do is have our text reveal from behind this tree and then disappear when we get to this tree. So let's go ahead, move our playhead back to the beginning of the timeline, make sure that our clip is selected and head over to the fusion page. And once we're in the fusion page, we should see some familiar stuff. We've got our media in, which is our clip and our media out, which is going to be our final render. I'm gonna go ahead and move these nodes over to the center. And I've got this set up so our video clip, our final render is being shown in the right-hand monitor. In fact, we're not really gonna be using the left-hand monitor at all. So what I'm going to do is come up here and click this little rectangle, which is gonna make this a single monitor. Next thing we need to do is add a text node. So let's go ahead and make sure that media in is selected. And we're just gonna go ahead and click on the text icon right here. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna add our text node and it's also going to add a merge node. So let's go ahead and grab our text node and we're gonna go ahead and type in the woods. We'll keep that as open sans, but we'll make it regular. And let's increase the size just a little bit. Now in most tutorials, what they'll have you do is mask out the thing that's going to be revealing the text. But in this case, we're gonna do it quick and dirty. I'm gonna show you a super simple way to do this. We're actually gonna mask the text itself. And to do that, it's really easy. All we're gonna do is come over to our rectangle tool and just click it. And we'll increase the width just a little bit so it's not blocking out any of the text. And this rectangle is gonna act as our mask. So if we move this to the left or the right, you'll see that the text is disappearing. We actually don't want it to do that. We want it to be the opposite. We want it to have the text not there when the rectangle is around it and we want it to be there when the rectangle leaves. So what we're gonna do is come over to our inspector and we're going to click invert. And you'll see now the text has disappeared, but if we move that rectangle to the left or right, the text has reappeared. All right, next thing we're going to do is scroll over our timeline until our rectangle is in line with the edge of the tree right about there. And what we're gonna be doing is using keyframes to add some movement to this rectangle. What we're gonna be doing is adjusting the position and the angle. So let's come over to our inspector and we're going to create a keyframe at the center by clicking that little diamond. And then we're gonna come down to angle and we're gonna set a keyframe on the angle. So from here on out, what we're gonna be doing is moving forward one or two frames and adjusting the position of this rectangle. Now you can do that by either clicking and dragging, but what I like to do is come over to the inspector and just click and drag on center X. And we'll drag until the edge of that rectangle is in line with the tree again. Move forward one frame, drag, and so on and so forth. And we're gonna do that until our entire title is revealed and you'll see right here we actually have a little bit of an issue we've got our bottom of the O that is matching up with the edge of the tree but it looks like maybe it's because of rolling shutter I don't know maybe the camera angle changed a little bit but the tree is more at an angle here so there's some separation between the edge of the O at the top and the edge of the tree so this is why we set keyframes for the angle because here what we're going to do is we're going to change our angle a little bit and we're going to do it the same way that we changed the center we're going to click and we're going to drag to the left a little bit to change that angle so it's more in line with the tree 
That looks good right about there. And we're gonna keep moving and we're gonna keep adjusting that angle and that center position of the rectangle. And I think that looks good there. Let's go ahead and scrub through this timeline a little bit to make sure that we're doing good. It looks good, but it looks a little bit unnatural because there's a lot of blur in this shot and it's kind of a hard cut between that tree and that text. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna add just a little bit of a soft edge on our mask. Let's go ahead and come over to our inspector and we'll see soft edge up here. And we're going to increase that first by a lot and then we're gonna bring it back until it looks a little bit more natural. So we didn't add much of a soft edge there, just enough to make it look a little bit more natural. And now what the trick is, is we need to get this mask over to this side of our text so we can make the text disappear when we pass the next tree. So let's go ahead and move forward one frame and then we're gonna bring our Y centered down until that box is completely clear. Gonna move forward a couple frames until this next tree is in sight. And we're gonna move our X center all the way over. Move forward one more frame. Bring our Y center back up. Move over one more frame. Bring that X center over so it's in line with the edge of the tree. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna move forward one frame and we're just gonna keep the edge of the box in line with the edge of the tree. And I know there are some people asking why I didn't track the box with the tree and that's because we're doing the reveal and the hiding in the same node and also because there's so much motion blur in this clip that the tracking would have a hard time doing what it needs to do. So in this case, it's actually much easier and much less frustrating to just go ahead and manually do all of this. All right, once our keyframes are set, let's go ahead and hit Control S to save and move over to the edit page and take a look at our final project once it's rendered. There is so much that you can do with text in DaVinci Resolve and it doesn't all have to be done in the Fusion page. To learn more about that, click here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that will make you a better video editor, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.